Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. So today, I mean, you guys have been enjoying it, so I'm gonna keep pumping out content based on it. Uh, we're gonna be doing some more demonic beast. Uh, so we did the bird the other day, uh, a little while back we did the deer, we did a really low investment uh, demon team for the deer, which you guys seem to really enjoy. So I want to give you guys another option, right? Like I always run my same team, which is Yuzu, Chad King, Freya, the one ultimate, uh, and then uh, obviously Yorm. But I wanted to mix it up a little bit um, and give you guys maybe some alternatives if you don't want to run that team, you don't have that team, you haven't got decent dupes, you haven't got them invested, whatever, whatever. Right, so that demon team was hopefully a good start. If you haven't seen that, uh, go check it out. Uh, it's a couple of back, it's a couple of videos back. It's also in my um, Demonic Beast playlist as well. Um, but today we're going to be running the unknown team. Um, so this whole team is going to, is actually a lot of fun. And the whole thing is based on just giving insane stat boosts. So um, we've got, can I always get them confused, Ram here, which, you know, Holy Relic, whatever. But the main thing is that she increases unknown basic stats by 20%. You've got Yorm, which of course her passive increases all stats by 30% uh, after a couple of turns through her passive. You've got Rem, which basically every filled orb will increase her attack related stats. And then her Holy Relic gives her an increase of 10% basic stats for every ally of the same race on the field. So that's another 30%, right? And then I have Manashi, who obviously gives the max HP, crit resistance, and crit defense. And then also I have his Holy Relic. So it gives me a 30% boost to unknown race allies and increases defense related stats. So basically I have what? That's 30, 30, uh, 80. I have like 110% basic stat boost or something crazy like that in like turn one so this is i've done this team before the cc is not crazy high i have hp defense on ram attack defense on your attack crit on rem and then hp defense on the nashi and then these are my links as well i've got my l sariel red tamiel and just a 6-6 six, six festival alt through perg melee um and then the usual freeze card set so we're just going to jump in and do this now i've done this with rem and ram at level 80 to be honest, so like you don't need them this invested into. I really have. Obviously, the key parts here are Nanashi's Holy Relic and then obviously Rem for the stat boosts. Um, but you'll see where it's just under 17k before we go in. And then I will show you guys what we are turn one. Which is um pretty ridiculous. Um so it's a bit of a joke, to be honest. So I'll show you. So we'll do this. Once we load in, get all the basic stat boosts, etc, etc. We will switch off gameplay anima uh, animate alts because I always forget to do this. And you're looking at 52, 53k attack basically instantly, right? 725 max HP, 40k defense. The other guys aren't looking as good. Uh, Rem obviously comes out of this the best, but it's just kind of ridiculous. So all we're going to do here is uh, basically just use... Yeah, cards like Rem is our main damage dealer here, right? So she does the most for sure. Um, she's just built to just dish it out. Um, so this team is a lot of fun. We're actually pretty tanky. I don't even know if this, this one shot does it. It does. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> she does 300k with the AoE on level 2. Um, so I do have Yorm's Holy Relic as well. Like I said, uh, this team you don't need Rem and Ram fully invested into. I already had Nanashi fully invested into when I did it. Um, but you don't need it. So what we're going to do here is I'm actually going to go one, so red, and then I'm going to go green, blue, red, and I'm pretty sure that's just going to instantly one shot, I think. 300k. This is going to be a level three <laughs> amplifier card from Rem. 2.6 mil damage so if you want to see like th this does get a little bit harder towards the final stage but this is just such a silly fun team for um for this point in the game um or this point in the boss sorry the one thing you do have to be careful of is as you can see i've got a lot of um green cards in my hand which does cause some problems sometimes so you do have to be careful um that you can end up with just an absolute chockers handful of green. So the RNG for the card, um, the cards can sometimes stuff you up, um, but it's kind of a laugh of a, of a team. 
you just end up with so many basic stats that it doesn't matter, right? So if you're looking for alternatives, like you can swap out a couple of units, right? Obviously you've got unknowns in terms of like Freya, which I use in my other team, which is always super strong. Um, and I have to look at the other <laughs> the other units. You can use like Rimuru if you want another green unit, right? If you've got Rimuru, Echidna's not as good in this scenario, just because the single targets obviously are a little bit better. Um, so this is the problem, so many gonna waste some of these cards because I haven't got a single single red card which is a problem for the final part I think I'm actually gonna be <laughs> unless I get some RNG here be a, a victim of my own of my own team just all the green cards in the world this is where the problem comes right um, so I'm gonna go green blue and then I'm honestly just going to go skip, skip. Because I need to... Need to. <laughs> I don't have any rem cards. A okay, one rem card, that'll do. So we look at recovery disable. So again, like, rem's getting targeted. So I probably should have put Tarmiel Link on her. But, like, the level of defense and damage and stuff that we have is really, like, not a problem. So we're going to go red. We're going to go green. What we're actually going to do is we're going to do that. So I do get attack disabled if I do this. Um, but maybe I have too much faith in... I think I've got too much faith in this killing. I think I do. So this is the thing. This t like... Yeah, there we go. Now we're attack disabled, I think. Which is a problem. So you don't want to do this really on the first floor. Um... But I am just going to waste some cards again. Like I'm getting absolutely hammered with green cards, right? Like that is, that is a problem. Um, because I don't have any cards now. So it does have a counter up, which is fine on this floor. So you guys are already seeing kind of the, I suppose the concern with this team, right? Um, is that we got there, but we had to brute force our way there. Um, and this is all card RNG. Like we just got a million green cards. So that is just one of the things about deer, right? Um, so you do need to be a little bit more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Strategical, I guess, for like the, for lack of a better term, with the cards that you do use. Because obviously you've only got two, like you've got two greens, you've got one blue and one red. So the, the, the light cards that you get from using like barn or something, um, is, is beneficial for sure. Uh, barn, Escanor, you know, Melee, anything like that, because they don't clog your hand as much. Um, but what I am going to do here is I'm actually going to do this so I can heal up Rem a little bit. And yeah, I'm going to, I'm just going to get rid of the green cards. I don't like having the green cards on me. Um, the good thing is like immediately we get a good amount of HP, right? So... Like, the tank ability of this team is really strong, but, yeah, it's not the, again, fire and G stuff's up, fire and G stuff's up, but, like, I've used this team a few times, just for fun, um, it isn't my go-to, I definitely would recommend Demons or <clears throat> my usual Chad King, Freya, etc. team, I've got a whole bunch of videos if you guys want to see the original guides and stuff, this is obviously me just running through it, um, I've got, like, an ultimate guide, which I think is my, my highest rated video or something, so, you guys seem to really appreciate that one so go watch that if you want something that's more of a like a guide um this, this is obviously not it cool so now i've given myself one red one green one blue for the next one i probably should have kept the blue maybe just in case but if i need to um i'll just use double green the main goal at the moment is just to get M <coughs> back up a little bit in health She's, uh, she's been having a rough time over there. So let me just go... Uh, I want to go green. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. So I'm going to go green, I'm going to go blue, I'm going to go red, and I'm going to go green. This is to get rid of the you know, damage reduction. We're out, and then now we ult. Okay, so my, I think, I think you guys saw, I think it's only 2-6, 3-6 or something. And it still does really good damage just because of kind of the, the 
old levels and stuff that we've, that we've sorry, old levels, just like the basic stats and stuff that we've got, right? Um, so, now she's lost all her, uh, her buffs, so that buff removal is pretty much a problem when it hits rem. That's when it becomes a problem. Blue, red, green. So I do want to either kill here or I want to stuff it up so I get frozen, but I think I'm just going to one shot here. That's damage cap. This should hit damage cap too. No, not quite, but we finished it. Alright, so again, <laughs> Ram, Ram's kind of just hanging on, right, just with health on the end there. So I'm going to hit hit a couple of uh, heal cards here, just to kind of help her out. Again, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm missing my rank ups here. I should ideally use the two gold cards, um, but I am just conscious of what happened last phase in terms of, like, not having the card RNG. Right, so not having the card RNG is a pain in the butt. Uh, or not having the right cards. So if you guys are only just starting the deer, then you'll know how annoying it is. Or if you are a bit of a seasoned pro at it, you'll also. So that's not good, right? So I lose all of my REM buffs. So that makes this Amplify card a lot less powerful, um, which is quite annoying. So that is the problem with this team. You know, the demon team and stuff doesn't really rely on that, which is nice. Um... Yeah, then we'll heal. The good thing after this is it will cleanse the recovery disable. We still hit 350k with not a lot of stat boosts, right? So... Yeah, so we only had two buffs there, really. We still managed to do a lot with Rem. So Rem's the one you want kind of on attack crit. Um, and so you guys will see when I get to the final phase, but I actually save a gold rim and fire card for the final shot to deal the damage I need to deal. But um, for now, we are just going to... Let's do that. Good. I didn't want the one where they take away my ult gauge. That would have been painful. Um, cool. So now we should get the stat boost to get all the buffs for Rem. Perfect. So I'm going to go red, uh, green, blue. What I'm actually going to do? Yeah, no, I'm going to do that. Still going to just keep... <laughs> Rem just seems to refuse to uh, be at full health. That's fine. I don't think we'll get there in the... This fight in this uh this round anyway this turn. But Rem is pretty consistently, you know, dishing out good damage, right? Because she's on attack crit, she's had damage deal. So but yeah. You guys are hopefully getting the idea of this team right. It's just pure stats. Like, it's just all about boosting stats, keeping high stats, like all that kind of stuff. So what well, like 40k attack, 35k defense, 650k. 40, 37, 60k attack. So, uh, not bad, right? Not bad, and we hit a lot of damage. Um, so it's 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 a fun team. It's a stupid team, but it's a fun team. Um, because also Nanashi's ult is Amplify as well, right? So with the stat boosts, with his own passive, all that kind of stuff, he's gonna do more damage. Um, blue, red, green. That was a decent damage. Heal back, all right. That was a 75k heal. So the problem is because they have such high HP, it's going to take forever to heal her back. Yeah, so she's still not a full. Just because, like, this when it comes away this much, right, it's, like, actually 200k worth of worth of health or whatever. Um, so as you can see, we're kind of just cruising. Nothing kind of crazy. Um, the team is not super fast, but not slow. So it still gets through pretty quickly. Um... Like I said, my main goal here is just to make sure I save the big Amplify damage gold card from Rem for the final shot to finish off. That final, like, overcomes crisis part of the final fight at the final phase. Um, so I'm just going to do... Oh, excuse me. I'm just going to do the same... Uh, same setup as before. I'm actually going to use that heal card. Um, just to get...
get some healing going for the squad. So this team isn't as consistent as Demon or um, my kind of OG team, as I was saying to you guys before, but it still um, still does the job. Still does the job. I just realized my light is like in a specific setting at the moment, so it's flashing away. I could. Um, so we're attack disabled on Nanashi, but that's fine. It's actually quite a lot. So I don't have a single uh, Yorm card, which is a little bit annoying. Because now I can't even... <laughs> I can't even cleanse the debuffs with uh, Yorm's passive. Uh, her Holy Relic, sorry, should I say. So usually I would cleanse those off. Um... But I seem to not be able to right now. There's level three. Okay, a little bit better. So we take a little bit more damage there, and we're on the blockade. <laughs> Again, like you want to make sure you kill these usually pretty quickly, so you can avoid all these debuffs. But I'm thinking what I'm going to be able to do is do. Oh no, he's attack disabled again. <laughs> so I can't do anything. Uh, I'm just going to do that. That, that, and then I'll merge those as well. Just because he's blocked off everything else and attack disabled. So this is where, like I said, like on my previous videos, the King Shield is invaluable. Because like, you can still do it with this team. Like, you can, get, you can deal with it. But um, the, the thing with the King Shield is like, it means he can't really touch you. Whereas this team, it means like, when he does touch you, it really doesn't matter because you are just so strong it doesn't make a difference um and i don't have a green of course i don't um so i'm gonna go i have no buffs but i'm gonna use it anyway I'm gonna go blue i'm gonna go red and then i'm gonna merge and I'm gonna skip because otherwise i get corrosion i don't really want corrosion if i can help it I mean, that was a level one single target from Rem, and we hit for like 350k. Wow, I only got one there as well. That's kind of crazy. Now I'm getting the, the polar opposite problem of what I was having at the first floor, right? Which is I'm not getting any green cards, and I have two green units. So it's a bit ridiculous. So we go green, and then I'm going to go... Uh, let's go blue. Let's go red and then that should be that should be more than enough but I will throw away this card anyway just to cleanse me out oh hopefully oh I might have overcooked this we'll see come on nope I've overcooked this so now I'm corrosion I've got corrosion <laughs> so like, probably if you maybe switch some stuff around and gave, you know, um, maybe Nanashi or, you know, yeah, it's probably uh, attack crit or just attack defense, probably be better. And it would give you more, um, more love because now I'm stuffed because now he's, now he's got <laughs> the shield thing. So I'm going to go red, green, uh, blue. Just gonna, I'm just gonna ult. That was my fault because I thought that final card would kill, or the, the, the card before that would kill. So I put myself in a bit of a dodgy ish spot, but luckily I had all the cards to finish off this rotation. Oh no, I don't. I stuffed myself completely. I've stuffed myself completely. Let's see if we can survive this. And if we can, then I might be okay. Is that my ult gauge gone? No, okay. So all I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna ult. Try and get myself out of trouble. Actually, maybe I do. I'm gonna heal. Green. Uh, blue. And I'm just gonna ult, just in case. No, okay, we're fine with that. Okay, that's good. That's good. So if you're looking for a way not to stuff up your run, don't do what I just did. Um, 
But again, this is the thing. The team's so tanky, it doesn't really matter. Um, but what we're going to do here is I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Do that. So that's three. And then I think I'm going to do that. Just cleans my hand, clears my hand out a little bit. And I do have a full set of cards there, which is nice. Oh, uh. So again, damage cap. All right. Would have liked the recovery of health. So we are slowly surviving. Like, the team can just tank this. I hope. The next, like, two phases. Um. That barely did anything, right? Like, that had no effect on my rem at all. Um. So usually I like to have all these people at full HP. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Um. So I'm going to go red. Green. Blue. Hmm. Right I think that kills, just in case it doesn't. Yeah, uh, maybe. Maybe not. I'm wasting an ult on that, but whatever. Whatever. It's fine. 344. He threw that away, but that's fine. Um, so ideally, I don't want to waste this level three. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to go... I'm actually going to use greens. So I'm going to go... Green. Blue. Red. And I'm going to get rid of the green. I don't know if that's the right call. I basically wanted to put it to the point where I had a red card for the final, the final part. So this is where I could be a little bit stuffed. But we'll see. Okay, red. Perfect. Okay. So here I'm going to go blue. And I'm going to go red. I'm going to go green. Oh no, I'm going to lose my ult. That's okay. That's okay. So ideally what I'm going to do here, and I think I'm going to be able to make it work, is I'm going to get down to here-ish and then finish off. But I have to be careful with how I do this. So I'm going to do from out to blue. So I'm going to do blue, green, red, red. And I think that's going to be enough. I'm hoping. No. Oh, no, I stuffed up the rotation. That's on me. Hold up. I will be right back when I don't stuff up the rotation. All right, I'm back. I'm going to try not to stop up the rotation this time. So I think what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to go blue. So we're going to go blue. We're going to go red. And then we're going to go green. And then I'm actually going to go blue because I don't think I'm going to do enough damage here to go past this point. Because like basically I want to get it down to here, right? It's pretty decent damage. Let's see. Okay, she didn't do anywhere as much. So I'm, this should get me down to about here. Yeah, okay, that's perfect. But I need a... Okay, got a buff removal card. So that's good. That was very lucky. Because now I can remove those buffs. And I should be able to one-shot. So I'm hoping... Heals a bit. I'm a little bit scared this is going to do too much damage. But we'll see. Because otherwise he's going to counter next turn. And then I'm screwed. So, let's see how this goes. Perfect. Now we finish. There we go. Okay. <laughs> got there in the end. Put the stuff up a couple of times, but we got there. So that's that's the unknown team, guys. So again, takes a little bit of finicking like the deer does, but um, we pretty much ended up with everyone at full health apart from apart from Ram because um, she was targeted the whole time. But I hope you guys enjoyed that kind of insane stats. It's a lot of fun. Um, not my favorite team, but still a good one to use if you've got unknowns invested into. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that. As always, I will catch you in the next one. Thanks a lot.